what is good everybody on youtube appreciate you guys um tuning in to another video of mine if you haven't already make sure to hit that subscribe button check out some of my last videos some of my favorite pickups of this past year as well as like my birthday pickups things like that top 10 list everything um like comment subscribe you know all the good stuff the month is march it is currently march 7th so last month was obviously february as you know all the world knows that the all-star weekend game is in february it's about the second or third weekend of february every year now during this all-star weekend there's always always great sneaker drops including always in the month of february they always give us good stuff this year specifically was um very good they gave us a retro air jordan infrared six as well as some jordan ones which i am going to talk about now this video is mainly going to focus on my favorite pickup of that all-star weekend so the first shoe that i did pick up was the unc patent leather one uh this one did release on valentine's day so february 14th i believe which was the thursday before also we can actually began um i had to pick this up and i'm super super glad i did obviously i did not pick this up if you don't know this is a women's exclusive shoe which means that it's only going to come in women's sizes there were sizes up to a 13 and a 14 rumored, but all I've, I've only ever heard of one person saying that they ever saw a 13, so they didn't even have the 13. They just said that they saw it. This is the size nine and a half. I was able to get these in a trade with somebody, a really good, um, really good trade in my opinion, because these do go for like 550. Right after release date, they were going for like 550. They're going to keep on going up. Um, within like the next couple months and stuff like that especially the bigger sizes like this pair right here um overall it's a super dope shoe all patent leather just like the gold toe ones um really dope colorway the all-star game was in charlotte north carolina where the uh hornets play um so the these are their colors so most of the shoes that did release did come out in this sort of colorway the the um north carolina blue with a darker navy blue and then the white blocking um, overall, a great shoe. I really wish this did come out in men's, but uh, definitely had to pick them up. Easy cop for me. Just super glad that I was able to get my hands on them. Overall, great shoe. If you're looking to pick up a shoe for a girlfriend of yours or anybody that is a woman, or even if you're a guy, this is not like a super feminine shoe. It's definitely one that you should have on your list. Now, this next shoe uh, did come out the Saturday of All-Star Weekend. The Saturday is when the All-Star game or the All-Star events are actually played to so like the slam dunk competition, the uh, three-point contest and stuff like that. But um, this is really the first like great retro that we're going to get for 2019. So it was a must cop in my opinion um, with the Nike Air on the back. It's not something that we usually get. The Nike Air on the lace lock as well, or just the Nike sign with the Jordan sign on the back. Um, overall, they killed this shoe. The quality is great. The icy blue bottom is a great, great touch on these. Um, if you know Jordan, these were a shoe that he actually did wear. A lot of people don't know that um, sometimes when they retro a shoe, he actually didn't wear the shoe. In like uh, a lot of the colorways that we get on the regular, like um, like a Mocha Three or a uh, cool gray 11 he actually did not wear those shoes to play and this is one of the shoes that he actually did wear um so overall it's absolute classic this year we are going to be getting like the bread 11s the hopefully we do get the cool gray 11s we're going to get the bread fours pretty soon next month actually in april so this was definitely one of the ones i had to pick up especially with the nike air on the back um if you haven't picked them up you can still pick them up for uh about close to retail I would say try to get them now because maybe in a year from now with this being a real OG with the Nike Air tab on the back, they might end up going up about like maybe like 50 or 100 bucks depending on, you know, where Jordan brand is at at the time, but definitely one that I had to throw in the collection. But this is not my favorite pickup of All-Star Weekend. My favorite pickup of All-Star Weekend was the Turbo Green Air Jordan 1. <music> This shoe, I think, is a shoe that if you're able to get it to get it for retail, 
you should definitely pick it up or even close to retail with mine being a size 12 i can get it close to retail even now if i wanted to buy it um i think this is a shoe that's very very slept on it's my in my opinion not including the travis scott one that dropped this year because it hasn't like really dropped this year for the like masses this is the best air jordan one to come out this year thus far um it's a great great shoe another jordan one that we're getting now um last year we got tons and tons of great colors and air jordan ones it seems like almost every like two to three weeks maybe twice a month we were getting you know great shoes from like the homages the bread toes the core purples the pine green the spider band the um what else did we get the unions the um what else the rookie of the years and the gold toes oh i mean you can see that i have tons and tons of jordan ones so this is definitely another one that i am throwing in the vault um but definitely it was slept on i feel like if people were to see this shoe more in person if jordan brand would have done a better job of hyping it up giving it more love like they did some of the other drops for uh all-star weekend then this shoe definitely would be going for a lot of money and who knows maybe it could jump up there in the next coming months or so people seeing it on feet more loving it more and stuff like that now this pair did drop with the hyper crimson one it was a black gray and i believe like bright bright crimson orange i wasn't really feeling those those were kind of like funny looking to me it was the same exact materials but i think that just this colorway is super super cool like and it's definitely going into the trends that are going on right now like i said with the ripped up uh tongue from the sort of like vintage looking suede on here um, the yellow the sale that we're getting on every single Jordan one nowadays It's it like everybody wants to go for that vintage look. They want we're kind of drifting back into the, like The 90s era of the way that we're dressing and the things that we want to wear So this is definitely a shoe that has to be in my rotation right now I haven't worn it yet, but it will be coming out very very soon. So overall guys that was my pickups from the 2019 all-star weekend I was able to get everything that I wanted. Like I said, I was even able to get a pair that I'm never going to get to wear, which is the UNC patent leathers. What were your pickups after All-Star Weekend? Did you pick up everything that you want to pick up? What were you? What did you actually miss out on? Let me know um, in the comments. Also, the uh, one thing that I want to see from All-Star Weekend is them being able to bring back the hype towards basketball performance shoes. Now, like the golden era of basketball, Nike was like the um, like KD fours, Kobe sixes, um, LeBron's back in that era. I'm not sure what number that was at the time, but I think it was the nine. I believe it was LeBron nines. Yeah. So like that sort of like five year, three year span that we had, that was like the golden era of Nike basketball. So I want to see them be able to bring that back. I think. Uh, collabing with fear of God is a great way to bring hype back to basketball and I think that's what they need to do um, because that's what we want we want the big collabs with the big designer brand names and things like that so that is in my opinion is the best way and I think that the Kyrie with the um, the rocket brand or rocket uh, whatever company that is that was a great collab um, it was very slept on I'm not sure exactly if we are necessarily gonna you know appeal to wards basketball shoes unless they look a certain way unless they are street wearable which most of the basketball shoes now are not which isn't a bad thing at the end of the day like it's for performance um you don't want anybody busting through their shoes or anything like that thanks for tuning in guys if you haven't already like i said make sure to subscribe comment like watch some of my last videos um Thank you. I appreciate everybody who does watch my videos. You know, every single time that I put them out, I'm still pushing them out there. Still trying to get the word out and stuff like that. My next video is going to be very, very cool. It's going to be over the most expensive shoe that I have ever bought. Now, I'm also going to talk about the resale market, how I feel about the resale market and where my thoughts are going into 2019, how the resale market will go throughout this year and how it will expand more and more. So make sure to tune in for that. I should have that up about Wednesday, so I'll make sure to post that and everything. If you haven't already, make sure to follow me on Instagram at A Great King, and I'll see you guys on the next one.